The behavior of elderly Chinese people is becoming cruel or bad Chinese are getting older. A series of events involving flight attendants, customers criticized and threatened to report to management. Flight attendants sell on planes just to run KPIs. A netizen recorded a distressing video on a flight depicting a young flight attendant in tears, pleading for forgiveness next to a passenger seat after the passenger threatened to file a complaint. This emotional scene serves as a poignant reminder that everyone faces challenges. The netizen stated that during the flight, a man threatened to complain about the flight attendant for reasons unknown. In response, the flight attendant broke down, tearfully apologizing and begging for mercy. The video shows her wiping tears while speaking to the passenger, hoping to avoid a complaint. This heart-wrenching footage highlights the potential consequences for the flight attendant, such as deductions from her performance pay or bonuses, prompting her desperate plea for forgiveness. A flight attendant's job is quite tough. In another instance, a flight attendant sits on the floor in distress, crying over being grounded due to a passenger's complaint. Flight attendants fear complaints the most, especially from passengers holding platinum cards. Such complaints can result in demotions from flight supervisor to regular flight attendant. If the complaint comes from a VIP, repercussions could range from a reprimand to deductions in bonuses and performance evaluations. Therefore, if you happen to be a VIP, please refrain from casually complaining about flight attendants, all right? While the airplane was taxiing down the runway, a woman insisted at halt, declaring, I don't want to go anymore, just detain me. It's common knowledge among passengers that once an airplane begins taxiing, stopping is not an option due to potential losses and flight delays. This incident, shared by a passenger from Guizhou on June 19, occurred as the aircraft was preparing for takeoff, highlighting the woman's abrupt decision to disembark mid-flight. On May 10, a bizarre incident unfolded on a late-night flight departing from Xianzianying International Airport. A woman, suffering from a leg injury, refused to deplane after being advised by flight attendants, leading to a contentious situation. The flight had already experienced significant delays from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., adding to the frustration of passengers eager to depart. Despite efforts from other passengers and flight crew to resolve the impasse, tensions escalated as some passengers resorted to verbal abuse towards the woman. Eventually, after nearly an hour of standoff, the airline agreed to refund the woman's ticket and arrange accommodation, prompting her to finally disembark. Despite feeling aggrieved, her refusal to comply with safety protocols and escalating behavior drew criticism from both passengers and crew. This incident underscores the challenges faced in ensuring passenger safety and cooperation during air travel. After witnessing the incident, one passenger couldn't help but exclaim, bad people are getting older. Some folks never change, they just become more of who they truly are as they age. This remark has been circulating online, reflecting a societal trend of mocking certain elderly individuals for their perceived lack of moral integrity. Essentially, it suggests that these individuals haven't suddenly become bad in their old age, rather, their character flaws have been ingrained since their youth, and with time, they've only grown more brazen and unrestrained in their actions. Elderly people without virtue bring disaster upon their families. Good family values and bad family values are passed down through generations. It's not that old people are turning bad, it's indeed that bad people are getting older. These individuals were not good people when they were young, nor did they do any good deeds. As they grow older, they rely on their age to act with even more audacity, thus ruining the family's fortune and affecting future generations. For example, why do some people hesitate to help elderly individuals who have fallen down? It's because they fear that some elderly individuals might set them up for extortion, claiming they were pushed by the person trying to help. Such incidents do occur, turning what was originally an act of kindness into something fearful. A news story in which a student helped an elderly person, but instead of gratitude, the elderly person accused the student of pushing them. Since childhood, the student was taught to respect the elderly and be kind to the young. Suddenly, they were falsely accused. Fortunately, there was surveillance footage that cleared the student's name. Otherwise, 
the student would have had a hard time defending themselves. Although not every elderly person behaves this way, would the student dare to help others in the future? They would likely become more cautious, or perhaps just walk away if faced with a similar situation. There's also the issue of offering seats on public transportation. Those who offer seats will receive praise from others, while those who don't may be criticized behind their backs. However, this is a matter of personal conduct, a virtue, but it's not a requirement to give up your seat just because you encounter an elderly person. So, this notion can lead some elderly individuals to have misconceptions, trying to impose their so-called morality on younger people by insisting they give up their seats. Thus, this phrase satirizes the fact that some elderly people have always been bad at heart, and as they grow older, their hearts become even darker. In the wake of the Chinese Communist Party's ascent to power, recent years have witnessed a surge in online discussions highlighting instances of elderly misconduct across China. Take, for instance, scenarios where seniors, after missing their bus stop, assert their authority by demanding immediate halts in restricted areas or insist on the bus turning back to accommodate their needs. Such situations often escalate, with drivers facing resistance and even attempts by seniors to seize control of the steering wheel. Furthermore, there's the noteworthy trend of elderly women amplifying their music through loudspeakers while enthusiastically participating in square dancing, often responding defensively to any criticism directed their way. Even more concerning are incidents where seniors suffer falls, leading to unfounded accusations against well-meaning bystanders who offer assistance, resulting in unjust demands for compensation. In an incident on April 14 in Lanzhou, an elderly individual boarded a bus and insisted on taking the seat behind the driver, which was already occupied. Despite the occupant's refusal to vacate the seat, the elderly person persistently demanded it. This led to a confrontation, during which the elderly person sat directly on the woman's lap and even physically assaulted her. According to bus staff, the elderly person, approximately 70 years old, declined a seat offered to them and insisted on sitting in the seat behind the driver. The seat was already occupied by a woman in her 30s, resulting in a dispute when she refused to relinquish it to the elderly person. In the midst of the argument, the elderly person sat directly on the woman's lap and proceeded to physically assault her. Despite intervention from the driver, the elderly person refused to move and eventually lay down on the floor. Subsequently, the female passenger called the police, who launched an investigation. While it's understandable that elderly individuals may encounter difficulties while traveling, proper communication with fellow passengers or seeking assistance from the driver could resolve such issues. However, resorting to leveraging one's age to behave unreasonably and even resorting to violence is unacceptable. A recent viral video captured an elderly person vehemently demanding a young woman vacate her seat on public transportation, despite the woman being ill with a fever. The elderly person's insistence on claiming the seat designated for the elderly, infirm, or pregnant prompted outrage among other passengers. In Hebei's Baoding City, an elderly person in their 80s forcibly demanded a young man give up his seat on the bus. When the young man refused, the elderly person brazenly sat on his lap. Faced with such audacity, the young man reluctantly yielded the seat and was criticized by the elderly person for being disrespectful. On the afternoon of August 31st, a netizen posted on Weibo that she encountered a man insulting flight attendants without cause and threatening other passengers while flying from Hangzhou to Beijing in the first-class cabin. The netizen, named two words called society, stated in her post that on the evening of August 30th, she and her assistant were on board Zhujiang Chanlong Airlines flight GJ8887 from Hangzhou to Beijing. After taking their seats in the first-class cabin and waiting for takeoff, a middle-aged man wearing a short-sleeved shirt and glasses boarded with his luggage. When a flight attendant kindly approached to help him with his luggage, the man loudly insulted her, accusing her of having dirty hands due to her daily interactions with many people and demanded she not touch his suitcase. The flight attendant promptly apologized. A flight attendant from Southern Airlines was dismissed and sued the company after posting a selfie in her underwear on a flight. The Guangzhou Intermediate People's Court ruled in favor of the airline, stating that the attendant's actions damaged social norms and violated professional conduct. Despite the attendant's claim of unlawful dismissal, the court found her actions during duty time to be a breach of safety responsibilities and the company's regulations. The court highlighted the attendant's distraction from safety duties and the negative impact of her social media post on the airline's reputation. Consequently, the court upheld the airline's decision to terminate her employment, deeming it lawful. 
the once prestigious career of flight attendant in China has become less appealing in recent years. Many have been forced to switch occupations, going into live streaming as product presenters, automobile sales, or selling items on airplanes. Flight attendants selling products on flights has surged to the top of hot topics. According to interviews conducted by Jimu News reporters, it was found that the three major airlines, namely China Southern Airlines, China Eastern Airlines, and Air China, do not have such a work process. However, insiders have revealed that budget airlines affiliated with Hainan Airlines, such as Capital Airlines, Lucky Air, and West Air, offer onboard sales services. Additionally, some passengers have reported that Spring Airlines also provides sales services during flights. Regarding whether this practice complies with regulations, a staff member from the Civil Aviation Regulatory Department stated that it does not constitute a violation of regulations or laws within the civil aviation industry, and regulatory authorities generally do not intervene in such phenomena. Whether to provide onboard sales services is determined by the airlines themselves. Originally exhausted from an early flight, I just wanted to get some rest. But then the flight attendants started selling products, making it impossible to relax, said Ms. Wong, a passenger who recently flew with Capital Airlines and endured a long period of in-flight product sales. This experience left her feeling like she was back on an old-fashioned train, and she wasn't alone. The topic of flight attendants selling products for 40 minutes quickly trended on social media, sparking heated discussions among numerous netizens. Employee turnover within China's aviation industry is rampant, and its causes extend beyond the epidemic's impact. The current situation of flight attendants, the industry is becoming increasingly chaotic, and income is decreasing. A post on social media describing the current situation of flight attendants has attracted public attention, base salary of 3,500 to 4,000 yuan, hourly fee of 75 yuan per hour, 138 yuan per hour for chief stewardesses, overnight fee of 150 yuan. The accompanying picture shows flight attendants sitting in their seats, hands resting on their laps, heads bowed, and eyes looking at the ground. In the public's memory, flight attendants have always been synonymous with glamorous and high-paying careers. They often have beautiful faces, exquisite uniforms, and gentle demeanor, seemingly able to earn decent and generous compensation by serving meals and responding to passengers' needs in the cabin. However, this photo inadvertently reveals the fatigue and exhaustion beneath their perfect image, and more importantly, their salary treatment which is far from what it used to be. Which flight attendant hasn't cried a few times on the plane? Among the professions bearing the brunt of this phenomenon is that of flight attendant, witnessing some of the highest attrition rates. Data disclosed by the country's top three airlines in April 2022 sheds light on the severity of the situation, revealing that a staggering 4,147 individuals bid farewell to their roles within the civil aviation sector in 2021. Contrasting figures from the previous year paint a concerning picture, with Southern Airlines recording 2,333 resignations, Air China 978, and China Eastern Airlines 836. Sources indicate that among state-owned carriers, Southern Airlines experienced the most pronounced exodus, trailed by Air China, while China Eastern witnessed the least turnover. On the evening of January 30, China Eastern Airlines released its performance forecast for the fiscal year 2023, finalizing the overall outcomes for the trio. Collectively, they reported losses ranging from 11.2 to 14.3 billion yuan. Although both Air China and China Southern Airlines managed to turn losses into profits during the first three quarters of 2023, factors such as incomplete international route restoration and domestic market saturation prevented them from achieving annual profitability. Despite Air China and China Southern Airlines showing similar quarterly profits prior to investment strategies taking their toll, disparities in performance further widened. Nevertheless, compared to the staggering losses exceeding 100 billion yuan in 2022, the gradual turnaround signifies a glimmer of hope for the aviation sector's recovery. As the spring festival travel season of 2024 unfolds, the stage is set for the battle to restore profitability among the three major airlines. However, challenges persist, as highlighted by the financial forecast, which indicates losses ranging from 9 to 13 billion yuan for Air China, 68 to 83 billion yuan for China Eastern Airlines, and 35 to 47 billion yuan for China Southern Airlines. A scandal involving the alleged sordid exchange of sexual favors within China Eastern Airlines shook the airline in April 2021. Online gossip swirled that a flight attendant had been forced by her managers to perform sensual acts on high-ranking executives.
China Eastern Airlines quickly proceeded to refute the claims in the face of public anger, adamantly disputing their accuracy and claiming that the issue had been reported to police enforcement. This series of events has prompted deep reflection on the internal issues within the aviation industry. Firstly, there are clear gaps in the airline's monitoring and management system. The company seems to have implicitly tolerated the behavior of flight attendants without conducting thorough reviews or strict management. This has led to some flight attendants abusing their power, using their identity, and the work environment to engage in unlawful transactions. Secondly, this incident also reveals economic pressures and unfair treatment within the aviation industry. Due to the impact of the pandemic, airlines are facing significant economic difficulties and are forced to cut employee salaries and benefits. However, some flight attendants may earn high incomes through illegal means, exacerbating not only the injustice within the airline but also creating unhealthy competition for law-abiding employees. Furthermore, this incident also raises the issue of protecting the rights and interests of sex workers. Flight attendants coerced into this illegal profession may be in vulnerable positions, lacking protection and support. Insiders have shed light on the complexities of the affair while speaking to Radio Free Asia under oath. Reportedly, a flight attendant who worked as the party branch secretary for China Eastern Airlines Cabin Division 6 and went by the name Miss Ni e was encouraged to have sex with another high-ranking executive named Chio by a senior executive named Tin from the Jiangsu branch. Although these clandestine dealings are not unusual among the Chinese Communist Party's CCP, higher levels of authority, they only represent a small portion of the bigger reality. As the tale developed, it became clear that the 26-year-old flight attendant, who was formerly well-known for her bright grin, had decided to step down and return to her small-town background in order to tend to chickens. Her preference for the calmness of a grounded life over the stormy complexity of corporate intrigue is highlighted by this sad decision.